Now next, uh, let's create the cobra snake head, which is coming out of the pharaoh's forehead. And we're going to do something a little bit different. Let's start off with just a basic primitive shape. How about a cylinder? We'll give it a radius and height value. And if we were to edit the controls of a cylinder, we get radius and height values. Now we can actually convert this into a NURBS object and based on the degree of smoothing that we set uh, and the number of controls like maybe 12 by 12 you can see we can reconstruct the object add a little bit of smoothing to it and now we have uh, 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 many more additional controls for more of an asymmetrical editing of the object. So let's go into a side view and turn those controls on and let's start to modify this. Uh, maybe grab hold of some of the controls on the side, sort of flare the side of the object out. Uh, maybe grab all the controls on top and let's stretch that up just a little bit for the snake's head and maybe take the bottom for a little portion of the snake's uh, body section. Uh, we can insert controls anywhere that we want. For example, I could go in and maybe insert a row right there. Uh, we can also highlight any number of controls and besides just moving, we can also scale. So all the those controls that I have highlighted, I'm going to scale those to a common point. So this will taper the nose and the neck and the body uh, of the cobra snake head. So that's how we're going to shape that looks like this. Now you can edit not just the controls, but you can edit the object anywhere that you want. For example, I can just sort of push and pull anywhere on that 3D form. So I can actually just uh, move the cursor anywhere on the object and push to sort of create the recessed area in the center of the object like that. Maybe I'll flatten the head just a little bit by pushing in on those and using your own creativity to sort of sculpt that 3D form. Now for the eyes, I'm going to go back to the actual NURBS controls that are there, insert a few additional rows of controls, and then simply move the one control in the center there uh, to create sort of the little bulged area for the eyes of our snake. Now at this point that looks pretty good except for uh, he looks relatively stiff right now and so what we can do is use our new bend tool which allows us to take any object and bend it along any path. Create a path using the vector or spline curve tools and notice that that geometry will then follow wherever that curve goes. That's how we can finish off the actual 3D form of the snake body by having it bend along that path. So we can turn our other geometry back on and there's all the different components which makes up the pharaoh's mask and so let's apply a few additional surface style textures in order to finish this off. We'll uh, maybe apply a different surface style texture just to one individual face of the object. For example, the chin will apply a different texture to that. And even though that is one single object, I can highlight, you know, maybe just the one face for the top crown portion and apply a gold surface style texture to that portion. And then of course I'll also apply the gold to the cobra snake head which is on top of the pharaoh's mask.